So Gollum starts life in the dim and distant past, nearly 600 years before the events of Lord of the Rings. He's a hobbit-like creature from a breed of hobbits keen on boats and fishing. The stores. Gollum's name at that point is Smeagol. He has a friend called Deagol, and those names, as ever in Tolkien, are very revealing. Deagol means secretive, and Smeagol means worming your way in or burrowing. Uh, so these two hobbits are fishing one day. Deagol finds a golden ring. Smeagol murders him and takes the ring and discovers that when he puts it on, he turns invisible. Classic origin story. And um, not that Gollum knows it, but this ring is the one ring. The ring of power, a great ring, and therefore he doesn't age and die like a normal mortal, but kind of withers over a long period into the Gollum creature that we know and love. So the ring extends his life, uh, he becomes obsessed by it, and is physically corrupted into a kind of man, spider, frog guy. Then in The Hobbit, which takes place about 60 years before the start of The Lord of the Rings, Gollum loses the ring, which is found by Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, a hobbit, and that sets the stage for Gollum's quest in The Lord of the Rings to recover the ring, his precious, for himself. Yes, yeah, so from the point of view of Gollum, The Lord of the Rings is an epic tragedy about trying really hard to get a magic ring that was stolen from you, managing to do that, and then finally falling into a crack of doom right at the moment that you triumph. <laughs> yeah, so just incredibly sad from his point of view, honestly. 